Hi, welcome to FDN, guys. Friday the 12th, there's a JV and varsity boys basketball shootout at West Burlington. Saturday the 13th, there's a boys basketball coaches meeting at Columbus. Uh, there is wrestling districts at Wilton, and there's a varsity girls basketball versus Wilton. Monday the 15th, there's junior high boys basketball at Winfield. And Tuesday the 16th, there's a varsity girls basketball game at West Branch. Thursday the 18th, junior high boys basketball versus Long Tree. And boys basketball postseason tournament in Durant. Hello and welcome to World News. A goat has been arrested and facing seven years in prison for grazing a neighbor's lawn. Police in Chhattisgarh, Central India, described the animal as a repeated offender. Following the bizarre incident, the animal is facing the same charges as the owner, Abdul Hassan, who was also arrested. The potential sentence is between two and seven years behind bars. Mr. Hassan said my goat scaled the boundary of the wall again and ate flowers and vegetables from the garden. It was taken to the police station and the police also brought me in. Police arrested the owner on Sunday. The goat was arrested for grazing from the neighborhood lawn. Despite several attempts by the neighbor, the goat repeatedly grazed from the lawn. Eventually, the neighbor, who is a local judicial magistrate, filed a case against the goat. Now on to weather. Friday will be a high of 24 and a low of negative 3, partly cloudy. Saturday will be partly cloudy with a high of 17 and a low of 13. Sunday will be a high of 26 and a low of 22 with snow showers. Monday will be a high of 36 and a low of 23, partly cloudy. Tuesday will be a high of 43 and low of 28 with partly cloudy skies. Wednesday will be a high of 40 and a low of 28 and overcast. Thursday will be a high of 44 and a low of 37, partly cloudy. And Friday will be a high of 48 and a low of 32 and partly cloudy. Hello and welcome to Tech Weekly. This week, I'll be showing you the ARCA board. The ARCA board is a new fully functioning hoverboard. While it isn't as cool as the hoverboards from Back to the Future, doesn't use magnets, and looks more like a small mattress than a flying skateboard, the ARCA board works and that's pretty impressive. ARCA board uses 36 high-powered duct fans that create a maximum thrust of 430 pounds or 272 horsepower. It can hover to a maximum height of 1 foot and move at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour. The fans are on parallel sides of the board with a compartment which houses the battery module in the center. However, since it runs from 36 high powered fans, the ARCA board can only run for 6 minutes at a time with a charge time of 35 minutes before it's ready to go again. The ARCA board is more of a prototype than a sleek hoverboard, but it is set for commercial purchase in April of 2016 at 20 grand, plus $4,500 for the charging dock. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome back to Game of the Week. Released in 1986 and one of the best series of games ever made for the Super Nintendo is Castlevania. The player controls Simon Belmont who is faced with the task of defeating the Vampire King Dracula. As you make your way through Dracula's castle you face off with various other bosses like Frankenstein, the Mummy Man, and the Grim Reaper, not including Dracula himself. Thanks for watching.